here in the i button and in description box below you will get complete playlist of fourier series welcome to video number 31 and in this video we are going to study a new topic that is complex form of a fourier series before i start this video i would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of fourier series with your friends in this way only you can support me so let us start with the new topic that is complex form of a fourier series the Fourier series of any periodic function f of x is given by, we know this, okay, that is f of x equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation of n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos 2 n pi x upon b minus a plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n into sin 2 n pi x upon b minus a. This is the general formula for Fourier series of any function that is f of x which is periodic, okay, yes. In the interval a to b, okay, interval is a to b. In that case, a0, an and bn are constant, okay? And we can find the values of a0, an and bn by the help of Euler's formula. And the formula and the formulas are a0 equals to 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x dx, okay? an equals to 2 upon b minus a integration of a to b f of x into cos of 2 n pi x upon b minus a dx. bn equals to 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x sin 2 n pi x upon b minus a dx okay yes these formulas are Euler's formula and by the help of Euler's formula only we can get the value of a naught a n and b n after finding the values we can put the values over here and we can declare the Fourier series for the function of uh, function f of x okay yes let's say you have the interval that is minus l to l okay let us say the interval is given as minus l comma l so this is a this is b if you want to find what is b minus a that is this is a this is b so b minus a means l minus of minus l that is 2l okay yes in that case f of x will become a naught upon 2 i mean i mean to say the fourier series for any function f of x in the interval minus l comma l will become a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x upon l because if you put this 2l here okay we have the formula that is cos of 2 n pi x upon b minus a and the value of b minus is how much 2 l okay so if you put 2 l here so 2 to get cancelled so we are left with this part okay that is cos of n pi x upon l similarly we can write for this term that is summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x upon l okay again if you put b minus a equals to 2 l so 2 to gets cancelled so we are left with sin of n pi x upon l okay which is this now we need to find what is a0, an and bn, okay, a0, an and bn. So a0 will become, if you put b minus a equals to 2l, okay, where, here, okay. So 2 upon 2l, that is 1 upon l, okay. So here again, okay, here, we need to find what is a0, okay. That is if you put b minus a equals to 2l, so 2 to gets cancelled. So we are left with 1 upon l into, yes. Here you can see 1 upon and L into integration of limit is from minus L to L, okay? That is minus L to L f of x dx. Now, if you are interested in finding the value of a n, in, it means put b minus equals to 2L, so 2 to gets cancelled. Here, minus L to L integration minus L to L f of x cos of, if you put 2L here, so 2 to gets cancelled, so we are left with cos of n pi x upon L dx, okay? So, here we are. That is 1 upon L integration minus L to L f of x cos n pi x upon L dx. Similarly, you will get this part also. That is 1 upon L integration minus L to L f of x sin 2 n pi x upon 2 L. So, 2 2 gets cancelled. So, we are left with sin of n pi x upon L dx. Okay. So, here we have a0, an and bn. Now, yes, you must be aware of this part. That is e to the power i theta equals to cos of i cos theta plus i sin theta okay e to the power i theta equals to cos theta plus i sin theta and there is another thing that is e to the power minus i theta equals to cos theta minus i sin theta okay yes e to the power minus theta minus i theta equals to cos of theta minus i sin theta now if you simply add this okay if you simply add both you will get this part that is cos theta equals to e to the power i theta plus e to the power minus i theta upon 2 okay and if you subtract okay this one is this one is going to give you this part that is sin theta equals to e to the power i theta minus e to the power minus i theta upon 2i okay now here you can see okay yes if you see in this part okay we have cos theta but here we have cos of n pi x upon l okay it means simply replace theta by n pi x upon l so 
yes here we have cos n pi x upon l okay in place of theta we are going to put n pi x upon l so this is going to be e to the power i n pi x upon l plus e to the power minus i n pi x upon l upon 2 okay and sin theta that is e to the power i theta minus e to the power minus i theta upon 2 i will become this part okay that is yes here we have sin of n pi x upon l okay because while finding bn we need this part okay so this part that is sin of n pi x upon l will become e to the power i n pi x upon l minus e to the power minus i n pi x upon l upon 2i okay so we are going to put this okay we will take the help of yes this part and this part okay where yes here okay here and here okay so this equation is going to be this okay that is f of x equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 1 to infinity a n this part was cos of n pi x upon l which is e to the power i n pi x upon l plus e to the power minus i n pi x upon l upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n e to the power i n pi x upon l minus e to the power minus i n pi x upon l upon 2i okay yes so now simply solve this part okay that is a naught upon 2 is as it is if you open this bracket yes here we have summation of n equals to 1 to infinity here again we have summation n equals to 1 to infinity okay so that in this here now this into this plus this into this okay plus this into this minus this into this okay okay whole upon 2 then we can say that is a n into e to the power i n pi x upon l upon 2 okay plus e to a n into e to the power i n pi x upon l upon 2 okay here we have two terms for this part now coming to this part okay that is b n into e to the power i n pi x upon l upon 2i minus b n into e to the power minus i n pi x upon l upon 2i okay i hope this part is very easy and very much clear to you now in the next step what we can do is let us see this is a naught upon 2 okay here we have a naught upon 2 as it is plus summation of n equals to 1 to infinity these two terms are as it is okay these two terms are as it is there are certain change in these two terms okay why because you can see i is in the denominator part okay and we need to remove this i in the denominator part for that yes this plus can be written as minus into minus okay yes this plus can be written as minus 1 into minus 1 okay here we have a minus and for second minus 1 we can put i square because i square equals to minus 1 so minus 1 minus will become plus okay so this can be written as minus of i square into uh, remaining part is as it is that is bn into e to the power i n pi x upon l upon 2i okay here again we have minus sign so this minus is, is replaced with i square okay yes so i square is minus 1 so if you put i square that is minus 1 this is going to be this part okay so this negative is replaced by i square okay so plus i square into bn e to the power i n pi x upon l upon 2i okay this n is the subscript part of b okay this n is in uh, in the subscript of b okay now coming to next step that is a naught equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity yes here we can write that is a n into e to the power i n pi x upon l plus a n e to the power minus i n pi x upon l okay yes if you remove this i you will be left with minus i b n e to the power minus i n pi x upon l upon 2 here we have yes this i gets cancelled okay so we are left with plus i b n e to the power i n pi x upon l upon 2 okay yes this much part is clear to you i hope in the next step what we can do is yes a naught upon 2 is as it is plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity okay yes here you can see we are combining these two terms okay we are combining these two terms and in these two terms we can see this part is common okay that is e to the power i n pi x upon l e to the power i n pi x upon l this part is common so we have taken this common that is e to the power i n pi x upon l is common so here we have a naught a n upon 2 minus i b n upon 2 so 2 is lcm so we have a n minus i b n okay a n minus i b n whole upon 2 into e to the power i n pi x upon l okay similarly for these two terms also we can take a n upon 2 a n of i b n upon 2 common okay that is this part is common okay e to the power i n pi x upon l 
okay e to the power i n pi x upon l is common so here what is left is a n upon 2 and here we have i plus i b n upon 2 okay so 2 is lcm so we have a n plus i b n into e to the power this part okay that is e to the power i minus i n pi x upon l okay so yes here is a point that is f of x will become this part is c naught okay this part is c naught plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity okay this part okay this part is cn into e to the power i n pi x upon l plus this part is c minus n okay this n and this minus n are in the subscript okay yes c n into e to the power i n pi x upon l plus c minus n okay into e to the power minus i n pi x upon l okay so this is the Fourier series okay that is f of x okay where we can say that is c naught equals to a naught upon 2 okay this c naught equals to a naught upon 2 c n equals to a n minus i b n upon 2 and c minus n equals to a n plus i b n upon 2 okay now we need to find the values of c n and c minus n okay yes we will solve both one by one okay so we can say that is cn equals to one upon two okay what is cn that is uh, one upon two into a n minus i b n okay yes what is the value of a n and b n let us see a n equals to one upon l integration minus l to l f of x cos n pi x upon l dx and what is b n that is one upon l integration minus l to l f of x sin n pi x upon l dx we need to use these two formula here so cn which is equals to 1 upon 2 an minus ibn is equals to 1 upon 2 into yes square bracket open 1 upon l this part is 1 upon l integration minus l to l f of x cos n pi x upon l dx now writing this part that is minus i okay what is bn that is 1 upon l integration minus l to l f of x sin n pi x upon l dx okay yes now you here you can see here we have two terms okay and in both the term we have one upon l common so we can take this one upon l here that will this will become one upon two l okay yes here we have we can say that is my uh, integration minus l to l okay f of x is again common so what is not common in both the part is simply added okay that is cos of n pi x upon l minus i times sin n pi x upon l okay that is cos n pi x upon l minus i sin n pi x upon l yes dx okay yes here we need to use the proper use of bracket okay yes this part is what okay we know that cos theta minus i sin theta equals to e to the power minus i theta okay so we can say this part is going to be e to the power minus i n pi x upon l where theta is what n pi x upon l so e to the power minus i theta theta equals to n pi x upon l so we can write cn equals to 1 upon 2l 1 upon 2l integration minus l 2l f of x and this part is e to the power minus i n pi x upon l dx okay so here we have the formula for cn and this part of formula is very 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 important okay now we need to find what is c minus n c of minus n equals to 1 upon 2 a n plus i b n okay yes so half is as it is a n equals to 1 upon l integration minus l to l f of x cos n pi x upon l dx plus i what is b n yes plus i bn equals to 1 upon l integration minus l to l f of x sin n pi x upon l dx okay now this 1 upon l 1 upon l is, is common in both the terms so we can take this common so 1 upon 2l okay 1 upon 2l integration minus l to l f of x is again common okay yes so here we have cos of n pi x upon l and here we have plus i sin n pi x upon l okay simply write dx here now e to cos theta plus i sin theta equals to e to the power i theta where theta equals to n pi x upon l so this is going to be e to the power i n pi x upon l so we can write this that is c minus n equals to 1 upon 2l integration minus l 2l f of x this is going to be e to the power i n pi x upon l dx okay so we have the formula for c n and c minus n so finally we can see that is f of x can be compactly written as f of x equals to summation of n equals to minus infinity to plus infinity cn into e to the power i n pi x upon l okay i am repeating this once again f of x equals to summation of n equals to minus infinity to plus infinity cn into e to the power i n pi x upon l okay this is the complex form of any function of 
complex form Fourier series for any function f of x. Okay, I repeat this. This form, okay, this form is the complex form of Fourier series for any function f of x. Okay, how to how to identify whether the question belongs to complex form or not? Okay, if in the function if you get i okay it means we need to apply complex form okay we need to apply complex form of we need to find the complex form of Fourier series okay where this l okay this l is said to be the half length of the interval size okay because yes here we have taken the interval as minus l to l so b minus equals to 2 l but here you can see in the formula we have only l okay we have only l it means we need to take the half length of the interval size okay yes in the next video we are going to see a problem okay which is based on complex form of Fourier series okay thank you thank you so much